Do you want to know how to do that? It is called as a person indicator plugin. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to use the person indicator plugin and uh, make sure that your uh, your application looks super awesome, cool. Let's go straight on the video and see how to do that in Flutter. All right, even before we begin, why why am I doing this? This is called as this is actually a third party plugin that a developer actually contributed to the Flutter source. So what are we going to do is just going to see a series of videos coming out and we're going to be reviewing all of these Flutter plugins. So are they going to be useful? Are, they, are there any modifications that you can suggest or are there anything extra that has can be added to this Flutter plugin? You're going to be seeing all of that. If there is something that I can contribute to this Flutter uh, resource, I can, I'm going to be doing that as well. So it is good that we can contribute to these Flutter resources going forward and build a community of people and that can use these Flutter plugins for maximum benefit. What does this person indicator plugin do? It does nothing. It's going to, it's going to create an animator controller. It's going to create that animation for the person to be filled out. And uh, we're going to be seeing about two important controllers, which are actually circular person indicator and linear person indicator. Uh, we're going to be talking about all of that in this video. All right, even before we begin, if you like this video or if you like this content that I've been posting in this channel, you can just smash that subscribe button so that I can be notified and I can make awesome such videos uh, on Flutter and other programming languages. All right, enough of the talking, let's go straight into this video. We're going to be talking about how to use the circular person indicator and the linear person indicator. Cool, even before we begin, we're going to be talking about this uh, person indicator which you have to add in the person pubspec.yaml. Just go to pubspec.yaml and add this person indicator as a dependency. It is going to be 2.1.1, which is the, the version that is going to be actually available when I'm making this video. Uh, you can use that in your Flutter application. Once you're done, do the packages get and go to your main dot, dot file or whichever file is going to be your main file. And just go in and import this line, which is going to be important for us to continue this application. All right, once you've done that, I've created as usual, my base template, it's going to be a stateless, stateful plugin, stateful widget. And I'm going to be just doing, going with the scaffold as my parent and my multi app as my base parent. And we're going to straight away jump into the body of the application. We're going to create a container. I'm just going to create the two important uh, classes that is actually the circular person indicator and the linear person indicator. We'll see how the circular person indicator works. I'll just create a simple column so that you can have a uh, cleaner idea of one below the other. So the first is going to be the circular percent indicator. All right. So wh what are the attributes that are available for a circular person indicator? We have a lot of attributes that are actually you can control starting with animation duration, animation there is in radius, background color, linear gradient, mask filter and a lot of lot more actually so it's that start with a simple thing we just use the progress color progress color is going to be the actual color of the bar that is going to animate for us we just use a simple color and let me give a red accent and the next attribute that is very important is the simple percent attribute itself so percent attribute is going to be how much percent that you have to animate the indicator to which it has to take a value from zero to one I can give a value of say 0 0.5 to make this work and the next is going to be my animation. So animation, do I want the animation to happen or do I want the person to show directly? I'm just going to give a true for now here and uh, the important attribute that you have to do is the radius attribute. The radius attribute is going to be how big the circle is going to be. So we'll just give a sample value of say 250.0 radius and uh, the last attribute is the line height line width, line of this thing, but the width of the circle, uh, I'm just going to be giving a width of 15.0. So all of these are important attributes, which uh, initially when you are actually calling this class, it should be coming, these should, these should be default values and they should show up on the, uh, as soon as you put it, it should come up as a default value, but it is not. Maybe that can be a correction that can happen. So first things first, we are going to run this application, see what happens when you do that. All right, it comes up. So when you run this application, we can first just see that it animates 2.5 or whatever value we're giving, going to be giving in percent. What are other attributes that are part of this? The other attributes that are part of this are background color. You can control the background color. You can control mask filter. You can just give mask filter dot blur. You can just blur the color out and that is actually going to be a little useful. And what are other things are you can just start with Stroke cap is very important. So cap is how is it going to be a rounded rounded circle or is it going to be a little bit so you can run it and see for yourself. Yeah. 
if you can see these are really really straight these lines are really straight and when you are giving the rounded if you can see that it's little bit rounded this part this part this part is rounded and that is the use of circular stroke cap you can actually play around with lot of attributes here there are important attributes like animation duration you can you want to add automatic keep alive that does it does it have to be alive when you're when you're scrolling down as well and um, what is uh, linear gradient you can have a linear gradient if you want to start angle and all of this all right this is one this is one attribute one class that is part of the person indicator class person indicator plugin the next plugin is the linear indicator plugin so linear indicator plugin is going to be this linear person indicator so linear person indicator is going to take something similar to this again we will be having the width the width is going to be how long you want it to be i'm going to give another say 250 again 250 is bigger and uh, i'm going to have a line height line height is how height of the uh, how height high the line should be and line height is can be 15.0 as well what else do we have we have the same progress color here as well so color start orange accent maybe and we will have the percent percent is going to be 0.7 there are two important attributes for the circular and the linear which is the center so you can fill out the gaps here these gaps here with say any widget you want to be so i'm just going to give a simple text widget here and see how it you it looks uh, circle and i'm going to do the same with this as well so i'm going to run this application i'm going to see how it looks all right it, it kind of came quickly awesome so what is it that you saw so you you saw that this animated this did not because we didn't set the animation to true if you do that it's going to animate as well so you can see that it does animate so all right so what how useful is it going to be for us you can create super awesome simple quick animations for showing your percent uh, it is primarily useful if you think about leveraging this for say a dashboard application or uh, leveraging this for something that can show you percentages so it's going to be really simple and straightforward use of this it all it has to give is the percent which you have to make sure it's between zero and one uh, and that is how simple it is going to be all right from my perspective my point of view what i think can be done for this circle and linear is to primarily make sure that the default parameters are set say for example you don't have all any of this and you remove any of all of this so by default this will still work if you can see it will still work it is throwing that there is no such method or not, nothing happens and so wh why does that happen this is because there aren't any default parameters that are showing up as soon as you enter this class so that is main that is the main thing that you have to make sure that this has this can change and also linear person indicator can have um there are a lot of controls that are actually part of these two indicators firstly for first thing first you have almost close to 12 attributes that are part of this class so it's going to be really difficult to monitor or change you can you can play with a lot of things but it, it does tend to be uh, more than what you expect out of it so that is it could become maintenance maintenance nightmare if you if you call it so that is one that is one correction that can be made for this plugin uh, another correction is uh, if there is a way to show the person like on the go like say for example 0 to 100 if you can show 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 till 100 that 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 counter change that will be awesome for this plugin so it, it will actually give a very good ui experience as well and those are some of the changes that comes in top of my mind technically i don't believe in reviewing say other other developers work but i thought it will be fun to check out and give a give a honest opinion of how it can be made or it can be added i'm going to be trying to see if i can fork and add some of the changes that i've told you guys if I can do that, I'll just put that in the comment section. If I've done that, I'll just put let, let you guys know in the comment section. If I cannot, it it actually be a good project for you guys watching this video to take it up and see if you can do that. 
all right so this is the developer uh github page i just totally right in the start that i'm going to be giving a shout out and this is going to be this is the developer who, who did this change i'm not sure if you can see his i don't think you can see his uh, you have to be seen all right so here is diego velasquez lopez shout out to diego velasquez lopez for creating awesome there are a lot of flutter person indicators here flutter samples keyboard actions quick printer a lot of awesome things coming from flutter that is he's been doing for the flutter resource and uh, that's awesome from his side and uh, these are some of the changes that comes to top of my mind if i can try to enhance this person indicator i'll be very happy to enhance things in this one cool uh, let me meet you in the next video of the flutter slash uh, dart plugin analysis uh, we can just find out a lot of awesome plugins that have lined up for this entire series you can if you want to look at all of that you can just smash the subscribe button and hit the notification icon as well so that you can notify it when i uh, release those videos all right let me meet you those videos until then it's bharat episode if you like this flutter and flutter concept you can just check out my playlist that is coming up right in the top corner you can watch all of those videos on how do you develop these basics of flutter it's it's really simple it's most happening language and uh, all right lane of the talking let me meet you there until then it's bharat episode have a great day make something happen